right, a quick video here of an upgrade to Windows 11. We'll give it a try. Let's start with Winver. So I'm on Windows 10 20H2. That's the latest Windows update applied to this VM that's running under VMware ESXi 7.0 update 2. If you click in the start menu and just type in Insider, there you go. And it's a very top link there, a little gearbox. So this machine has a local login only. And I'm going to say become a Windows Insider. So it's going to make me register. Oh, herky jerky mouse. That's pretty normal in a VM uh, running like this. I get a sign in request on my phone. My iPhone's asking for Face ID, and Microsoft Authenticator takes care of stuff for me there. So it's saying I'm already registered, right? So let's see what happens next. Well, <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's say no thanks to that. Let's carefully look at our options here. License version, yeah. And I'm going to open this in another tab, but that's not going to give me an ISO for Windows 11, which is what I really want, actually. What I'm trying to do is find the path to Windows 11. There we go. Windows Update, Windows Insider Program. So, all right, let's go to Windows Update. So inside Windows Update, go to View Optional, and we got nothing, uh, nothing important, just the VMware. Let's get Video Driver Update. So the ISO method is not going to work, right? But let's see if we can continue with setting this up. All right, settings, updates, Windows Insider. Okay, so it's telling us, click Get Started, pick an account. Okay, seems like diagnostic data was off. So that was posing a bit of a problem. Probably shouldn't have closed that. Oh well. Let's see what happens this time. These little hurdles you jump through. Yeah, see, that's Windows 10. <laughs> All right, let's try that anyway and see what happens. Hopefully, we get some sort of selection menu. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. So if we want to get all the way to Windows 11, so you'll notice release preview, we're not going to get it yet. The minimum would be beta channel. All right, so here's the thing. Other machines I use, like my primary workstation, are associated with the same Microsoft account, right? So I don't want my primary workstation updated to this beta. So I've got this pickle, right? Um, at this moment in time, July 8th of 2021, um, that's the pickle. There's no ISO download that's legitimately available. And you don't necessarily want to opt in if with your Microsoft account that you use for anything else. So we're stuck with maybe creating a new in um, Microsoft account or a different email ID or something like that. So kind of work around, but 
at this moment I'm just going to take a pause and think about this and maybe come back later and proceed. So throwing some caution to the wind here, I can confirm. And notice I chose the beta, not the dev channel. So this should be a milder form. Also, I should be okay in my primary workstation. So while that's rebooting, I'm going to have a quick look at Insider Windows Insider program on my primary workstation. And what we should see is a warning like that, not eligible. And if I look under Windows Update, um, under Windows Update, we're okay there too. Just a cumulative patch is there, fine. And under Optional, we got some drivers, usual stuff. But yeah, we're good. So harmless to trying to VM is my point here in a home lab. All right, I'm going to continue here. So yeah, this is going well. Just got to wait a little longer. And uh, wow, that was quick. All right, let's do Winver. <laughs> See, uh, we're still on Windows 10, right? So next. So we've enabled the Windows Insider program. Okay. So you can see we've opted in and that worked. Now let's see if any magic has happened under updates. So it last checked about three hours ago. Sorry you're suffering through a, a smaller window here, but I just kind of want to emphasize that we're in a, a VM here, right? So no better way to do that than to show the vSphere interface. This happens to be ESXi host client, by the way, which is what happens when you point your browser straight to the IP address or the host name of the ESXi server, which in my case is right here in my home lab. Hmm. All right. Still got a ways to go, so it's possible beta is not going to work. We're going to have to opt all the way into Dev Channel to actually get this at, get Windows 11 at this moment in time. click on that, change it to dev. Here comes my Windows 11. And now what? Some rough edges. <laughs> or it said rough edges. It's cool. cool. Or cute. Um, it's actually going to be rounded edges. All right. So we're in the dev channel. Nice. What happens now? Drum roll. Yeah. And there it goes, there it comes, there it downloads, whatever you want to call it, so quick, it's happening. Quick, so quick, that's quick, good. Identical. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll find out. Actually, I've got a uh, download meter in my uh, router here, so we can have a look. And it doesn't appear to be doing a whole lot yet. <laughs> um, I'm always curious about the speed of things. And uh, if you want to look at what it's doing, you go to task manager. Um, on the performance tab, you'll see this thing called resource monitor. Cool. Let's bring that up and let's look at network. All right. It's pulling down stuff from Akamai, a content delivery network. And now it's really happening. Getting a little better speed. Um, my internet connection is capable of like eight times that, but uh, typically these things are throttled for fairness reasons. But yeah, the bits are blasting down from Akamai, and soon I'll have Windows 11 running in my home lab. It's that easy. No illegitimate ISOs to scarily download, um, and no further waiting for Microsoft to actually publish, publish ISOs. That would be awful handy for Hyper-V or VMware VMs. But this wasn't that big a deal. So 
I still prefer a fresh install. As soon as that ISO comes out, that's the way I'm going to go with building a VM. Took a while. I wasn't watching the whole time, but um, it's not on the fastest drive either, so. Can have a look at that, actually. So it's on a Samsung 850. Just a SATA drive. Nothing special, so NVMe would be a lot quicker. All right, Windows 11 coming up. Okay, we're getting closer. It's on a, another reboot here. Already a uh, new logo. So this is actually my first time witnessing Windows 11 coming up. I haven't actually uh, watched a full install video. Okay. <laughs> and we have a few more times here. All right, there's not going to be much to see just yet. It's three weeks later, and we're looking at vSphere Client. And if we open up the web console, we should be able to see where we're at, and that is Windows Update recently ran. Fine. Let's have a look at the UI together, though. All right, a couple things to note. Um, you can change and get this back to the bottom left corner. That is not a big deal. But yeah, the Start menu looks entirely different when you click on it. Now, in the web UI here, we can do full screen. So watch this. There you go. It resized. And that's because I have VMware tools with the vSphere driver. Oh, that was interesting. Hmm. All right, so we have a little Teams light looking thing there. Anyhow, uh, what else is there to show? Well, we're not going to get audio, all right, in a VM like this. Oh, dear with the rounded corners. Uh, anyhow, you get the idea, there'll be a lot for me to check out. Um, oh yeah, widgets, that's something new. A little slow to come up the first time. And again, um, something like remote desktop would be a smarter way to have a look around or get a decent speed. But really this video is about just getting the VM installed and we can do multiple desktops. All right, if I hit my mouse at the top edge here, we get a little X to get out of full screen mode and we can actually close this. Let's try remote console and see how performance looks there. Should be a little bit snappier. As far as multiple monitor support though, um, that would be a no for now. So full screen mode, yes, but I'm not able to cycle multiple monitors, that fails. Oh well. Anyhow, you get the idea. Uh, we're in, got it working. If I do a uh, Winver, let's see what we're at here. So build 22000.100 is what's current as of today, August 1st. Anyhow, hopefully you found this um, somewhat messy install video helpful. I want to thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing uh, or at least giving a thumbs up. That stuff really, really helps. Um, any comments under the video would be appreciated. If you have some uh, some ideas or suggestions, I always have an open mind to learning. Um, I'm just getting started with Windows 11 as VM, right? Uh, we got some time yet before it goes generally available, uh, but so far looking pretty good. Also, I'm going to point something out here about UEFI. Just remember this. If we go into settings here, you'll see this VM is set as EFI firmware type, the BIOS type. Fine, but Secure Boot's not even on. Why does this even work at all? Well, it seems things are a little more liberal in this uh, dev channel period we're in, right? When it goes GA, I don't know that's going to be the case. <laughs> we wanted to craft a new VM that has UFI on, um, virtual TPM. Uh, so yeah, we might have some work to do. And then finally, uh, Secure Boot all turned on. So it will be interesting to see what happens with all that. And uh, I guess really only time will tell. Okay, thanks again for watching. Bye for now, and thank you for visiting tinkertry.com.